What's going on guys? So, started working on this yesterday. I've been thinking about it all week, about how, what transmission I was going to use, how I was going to make it work. There's not a whole lot of mounting options on this chassis. And I spent probably about four hours mounting up that other little planetary gearbox. Just wasn't jiving right. Um, got it in there where the motor would be in the right spot. Couldn't really fit a drive shaft. Um, I tried to cut down some drive shafts off camera and yeah, I just wasn't jiving right. So the reason I have that transfer case because it's perfectly center input and output. And I did it originally with the TFL Bronco when I was going to put the scale RC four-wheel drive transmission in it. And I had that little short coupler. I was like, well, let's see if that fits. It works pretty well. I don't like the fact that the motor is so far away from the firewall. Um, it makes the grill kind of look funny. Everything's too far forward. There is no way to move that back. I'll take the body off here in a minute and show you. So I don't know. Maybe come up with a different kind of grill. Not run a grill at all. I don't know. I flipped the headers upside down. Those are the 3D printed RC 4 wheel drive V8 headers. Um, I helped create those with them back when we did the Rat Rod giveaway. They're in their Shapeways store. If you're looking for some hot rod headers for your scale V8. So, yeah. I like it and I don't like it. This whole build's still tentative. Everything's just kind of, eh, I don't know. We're still brainstorming, but use the front shock hoops. Lined up perfectly with motor mounts. Put some spacers in there and bam. <laughs> so there's still a lot of little loose ends on this build. I still have to rebuild the front, replace the broken axle shaft. Um, let me flip it around here and show you some. Here's why that all works so well. It's just dead center. Um, there's really, that's the shortest coupler you can get. There's not going to be any way to shorten that. There's really, this has a, a place to mount a transfer case, which that one fit perfectly. The mounts, the holes were the right distance. It might could move it back, but then we're going to run the driveline angle issues in the rear. Um, everything up here in the front, the transmission, the way it tapers and comes up, the way the oil pan is, it all clears the four link perfectly. I mean, it it looks like it was almost made for this this setup. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't really want to change the body. I don't want to change any of that. It looks good. It's small chassis, small cab, small bed, giant engine. So I don't know. I'm kind of I've been reading the comments all week on it, and. Uh, Mounts and ideas around. So I'm looking forward to see what y'all think about this version. <laughs> um, it, it does work, but I, I think with the grill on there, the motor really looks too far forward. Uh, one thing I still need to do on this is like well, I got to rebuild that front axle. Um, there's some space in here. These TFL had kind of odd sized rod ends. So I need to put some spacers in here. The rear doesn't seem as bad as the front. Yeah, I guess it is. So, got to space that stuff out. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, somebody brought up in the comments in the last video that about the flex during turning. Again, this isn't going to have a whole lot of turning radius. I, I cut that servo horn down. Not really worried about it. It's mud truck's going to go straight. And then we'll ease, ease on through the turns. But if it becomes an issue, we may have to shorten the rods. That's the only way around it I can figure Shorten the front rods, try to get the uh, triangulated part of the forelink at a sharper angle, and that will stop the slop side to side. Um, other than that, maybe we could do some like ladder bars or something. I don't know. Possibilities are endless. Part supply isn't, but we'll see what we can come up with. See from the front, it just looks mean. That engine's huge. <sighs> but I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. I've still getting over this cold or whatever I've had and uh yeah I'm losing my voice a little bit I want to thank everybody for watching and uh check the links below I've got some merchandise for sale some nice new shirts like I'm not wearing right now so I won't show you and uh stickers and mugs and all the usual stuff stuff help, helps really helps keep the channel going I don't sell a whole lot of merch because I don't really push it because I don't like being a salesman but the main thing I just appreciate y'all watching that's you know, that does the most for the channel. So, keep it scale, and I will see y'all in the next one.